Hello YouTube, this is Dylan Turner and I have created an Arduino game console. Now this is not using two boots or a version of like a game Buino or a boot drive or anything like that. It doesn't access the bootloader at all. It is all completely uh, in the code. So here, here's the device. So this is a 2.8 uh, TFT cut screen. It's the Seed Studio version 2. There's an Arduino Uno underneath. Uh, the wires where they connect. Uh, I have soldered an analog stick to a uh, to a board, and uh, the cables here go over here and connect to the bases. Use I squared C. Um, over here is a button. I, my push buttons were all broken, so I had to use this. I got creative. <laughs> but anyway, so there's the button. Um, it uses a special, it uses true random, the true random library, because the random library I was not able to use by reading analog, uh, because um, I use all the analog ports, because analog zero through, uh, zero through three is um, the touch screen, and analog four and five is for the joystick. Now this is not a full joystick. It is, but uh, I guess it's not really a joystick, it's an analog stick. It's not a full analog, it doesn't use all that, it just uses up, down, left, and right. Uh, but today you'll only see it do it up and down because I only have two games. One uses just the touch screen, and it's uh, guess the number. So it actually, at the bottom, uh, it only, uh, at the bottom of the screen it has numbers, and you can use those numbers. You can also input regular touch, which you'll see. Um, it has a stylus holder right here, I'm just using a DS stylus. So. Um, uh, I'd like to show you the cord. Um, my battery pack would not power it because you can clearly see this is going to draw a lot of power. But here's the cord. I want you to. I want to show you that I'm not plugged into a computer. See, this is the cord I'm going to use. Right there. See. Okay. Um. Then so this is the touch screen. Uh, the screen. You got the. So there's two games. Over here which is Pong P. So yeah, the classic game of Pong. Uh, the graphics are a little slow. You can get around it, but they're st they kind of flicker when you're watching. So uh, if you got epilepsy or seizure or are prone to seizures, you probably don't want to watch the gameplay. Um, otherwise you're fine. Uh, then there's guess the number. And what it basically it just creates a random number and actually Pong uses random numbers too, but um, that's different. Um, uh, so yeah, so I guess I'll show you how it works now. Uh, you put them, these are just regular, I, I think these are fat, these are both fat 32 4 gigabyte SD cards, but you can use any SD card on there. This is the default Arduino library, so actually you may not be able to. But whatever you can use with regular Arduino, you can use. Uh, so, I'm going to show you guess the number first and show off the touch screen. All you do, here, I'll show you. So, all you do is you plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> okay. Can you, can you see that? It's black. No, you can't. I need a... Give me one second. Okay. Turn off the lights. Should be able to make you see a little better. Maybe not. Hopefully. Okay, so I inserted the game. Or maybe I didn't insert the game. Oh, <laughs> looks like I plugged it in wrong. Okay, so there's a little SD card slot at the back of the touch screen. You plug it in there. And then you just click reset. Okay, you guys can see that? See the numbers at the bottom screen? So. I'm right-handed, so I gotta hold it with my right hand. 
So you take the stylus, touch the screen. So this is enter guest. Do you have a bottom screen? I'm gonna guess seven. So it's less than seven. I'm gonna guess four. It was four, I won. Now I'm gonna show you losing. So I'm gonna redo it. Just keep doing the same guess over and over again. Now it's a resistive touchscreen, so it doesn't really work. All right, so this way to lose. So you lose, and it says eight was the number. Okay, so if you want to take out, you got to reset to take out the SD card because it's constantly reading the SD card, so that might mess it up. I haven't tested that. Okay, here's Pong. Okay, so nothing, the touchscreen doesn't do anything. Those numbers are still there. Uh, so I press the button. It's three, two, one. I don't know if you'll be able to see the ball. Yep, you can. Okay, so press here and it'll bounce off. Now it might bounce back. As you can see, it did bounce back. Now it's gonna go straight across. Now hopefully the enemy won't hit it, which it doesn't. It doesn't always. Though I have noticed when you get close to scoring, the enemy does start working, and I did not program that in. It just it happens like that. Okay. So as you see, I'm not doing much. I'm pressing the analog stick too to move up and down. Don't think I'm faking. Did it, did it really hit? It really hit the ball. Yeah. Barely. Barely did. Barely got it. A little bit of glare, and I'm looking through the camera so I can see that you can see, but it kind of makes it hard to play the game. And as you can see, it doesn't use the full screen, it uses a 240 by 240 space. I did that on purpose because I wanted a square screen. I guess I could have. Yeah, there's one thing I've noticed it does do a little bit of flickering. So, come on, I gotta beat it, gotta get to seven. Oh, it beat me. Yeah, I'm just going to die. Let it win. It says win if you win, but I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to die and let it say lose. If you win, it has win with two exclamation points. If you don't win, it has lose with one exclamation point. Because I decided to just use five characters both times. Five. You notice how weird six looks as a digital looking number. And it's just a black screen. I know it might it probably looks bluish, whitish to you, but it's just black. And it restarts. So uh as you can see, as you might not be able to see. Ooh. Okay. So as you can see, it is it's still running the same game. It's still running Pong. As you can see, it's the same chord. Not plugged into the computer loaded multiple games so yeah it's pretty cool now uh, I'm just gonna unplug it um, it can make some basic games I'm gonna pro I'm gonna post the code um, it requires the TFT library I'll post uh, that too no it's it requires all of uh, requires the code I'm gonna post that on the website in the description I think that's where the description YouTube sometimes changes the title used to be up here then it was down here I think it's still I think it's down here now but um, the description I think is always below so the I'm gonna post that code in the description for the actual Arduino I'm gonna post the code for the games I'm gonna post a programming because it is all byte code It's all read by bytes because if I had tried to make a interpreter like a scripting language it would have been a lot even slower but by using bytes I was able to speed it up a little bit so it makes it a little harder to program because it's all actually not bytes it's all shorts so for you those of you who don't know what that is a short is basically two bytes it's two uh, it's and it's written in little Indian which makes it a little confusing and for those of you who don't know what that is basically uh, if you write a short it writes it second byte first byte so if it's uh 
zero x zero one four six it writes it writes uh four six zero one instead of zero one four six that's little Indian so it gets a little confusing so I created a way to do it in C++ uh, and I'll post that code as well it makes it a little bit easier a little less confusing you don't always have to use hex code it's really simple but I'm at the same time it's really complex I like playing with this thing <laughs> okay and let's see what else I'm gonna post what each byte means the code for the interpretation because there's a lot and can't really get it by just looking at these so yeah and it'd be really cool if you guys made games or recreated this and stuff. Send it to me. Not the actual device, but send me the code. I'd like to see it. Or maybe if you improve it or something, I'd like to see it. Post that on your channel. Send a link in the comments. Uh, this is Dylan Turner. And I'm going to quit now.